So we are waiting for my unbelievably slow computer to get started. Oh yes, and here it goes. CD Burner XP Pro opens up, and then you can see here the file that's going to be burned. It's the one that you have either saved or opened, and then you just choose the most computers only. Does only have one DVD uh, optic optical drive, but some computers have more than one and then you can choose between them okay and that here you can choose the speed and some other options that I don't know anything about okay so I'm go just leaving or everything as it was before and clicking burn CDs slash DVD okay and then it's burning and this can take quite some time, especially when it's a DVD. So we are waiting. And whoops. Okay, that's finished. Okay, we are going to take the DVD out. Close the computer. We're not going to need that one anymore. Okay, back to the PlayStation 3. There we go, okay. So be sure you have plugged in your USB keyboard and your USB mouse. Now, if I. Oops, that was a Blu ray DVD in there. Okay. Now you put your DVD, your newly burned DVD, into the PlayStation 3. And again, you're going to the Options tab and System Options. And install other operating systems. Okay. And then you just click the Start. And now it's installing. Let's go very quickly okay so now if we restarted the PlayStation 3 system it will still boot into this so we're going to the standard system option and choosing other operator system and choosing the yes so Boom, boom, boom. We are just waiting. Okay. Here it comes. Whoops. Okay. And when you see the K boot code line, you just hit enter or if you want to go back into the game operating system you're just uh, writing p3 and score uh, okay I can't remember what it is but you can read it on the fixstars website Okay. Okay. Now the setup is loaded, and we are just going to click next. And now you can choose your language, and I'm going to choose Danish because I'm from Denmark. 
and now I'm choosing Danish keyboard layout okay and okay here it comes up with a warning and it says that it uh, will delete all data and it couldn't find uh, it couldn't read the partitions but it isn't an error and it's it is because the Linux system can only see the extra partition that we made before so we are going to click yes and we're waiting okay and now in next window pops up then you unless the uh, pop-up list you're going to choose remove Linux partitions on selected uh, drives okay and you can see here down in the drives you want to use there's one called PS3 and DA because it's Danish and see here it says that it's uh, 10 gigabytes and 237 megabytes so that's just as we wanted and just leave the other settings as they are and click next uh, yes and now the warning comes up again you Again, you're going to click next. Whoops. Yeah. And click next again. If this comes up, it's because my PlayStation 3 is a 40 gigabyte version, and if you have a bigger one, uh, you might not need it. Okay. Network utility. Okay, so now I just think you can choose between Ethernet cable and wireless LAN. I'm choosing both because I've got both. And clicking next. Okay, when the world do we live? Oh, I'm living in Europe. And in Copenhagen. Okay, Europe, Copenhagen. Next. Okay, now I'm going to select the password with my keyboard. Next. Ooh, now we're almost there. Okay, so now we can choose. Uh, some software packages so let's see the first one is office and productivity and the second one is development of programs which is that one and the third one is web server which is that one as well why not okay uh, boom 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 okay you can make uh, further adjustments of your selection now or you can do that later, but I'm going to do that now.